All right, so in this particular problem, we are going to consider the continuity equation for a fluid moving, in this case, a syringe or a hypodermic needle. Um, and if you've seen these things before, there's your needle with plunger in the back. Um, and we know it sort of gets constricted to a point, okay? What we're asked to find, all right, so let's read this and consider what it is we're being asked to find. It says, water in a hypodermic syringe moves from the barrel of the syringe, which is this large region here, which has an area of 0.273 centimeters squared to the needle of the syringe, which is this fine point down here, which has an area of 2.8 times 10 to the minus fourth centimeters squared. If water moves through the barrel at a speed of 0.3 centimeters per second, what is the speed in centimeters per second with which the water leaves the needle? So I want to know how fast this stuff is ejected. So we use our continuity equation, which is A1 V1 equals A, oops, that's an A, A2 V2, okay? Um, if we look at the units of the quantities we're given, we're given area, we're given area, we're given velocity, because it tells us the water moves through the barrel. So we know A1, we know V1, we know A2, we want to know what V2 is, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and go through this and write it down what we know. So we know the area of the barrel is 0.273 centimeters squared. Now, because I'm asked to have a final answer in units of centimeters per second, as long as my unit base is in centimeters and seconds, or um, derived units thereof, like centimeters squared, I'm fine. So the volume, or the velocity rather, with which this moves through it is 0.3. And the area, again, for the needle portion of the hypodermic needle is super tiny, as we would expect, 2.8 times 10 to the minus 4. There we go. And we are asked to find V2, how fast this comes out. So what we're going to do is it's expected, just divide both sides by 2.8 times 10 to the minus 4. 2.8 times 10 minus 4. Hopefully, there we go, shows up. Um, those go away. And doing a really quick calculation will give us 292.5 centimeters per second. And if you think about this in terms of order in an order of magnitude calculation, you know, the barrel of this thing is, you know, about a th maybe a thousand, if, if my math isn't too bad, a thousand times larger than what this is. Uh, so, you know, we would expect this thing to then increase, increase by a factor of a thousand. If you multiply that by a thousand, you roughly get that number. So that in some sense of things is a reasonable answer for our problem. but. This is an example of how you would use the continuity equation to solve for the speed of another fluid.